Hey, Bob WP here, and welcome to Inside Woo. Hey, do the Woo podcast show. Woo! Woo! Today's a little bit different as we are in the middle of moving towards our launch this week at WordCamp Europe. I had a conversation with Jay Walsh, who is public relations at WooCommerce.com. And Jay and I, we've talked a lot about Do The Woo, so we sat down and just talked about this launch and what Do The Woo means to WooCommerce.com and their customers. So it was an interesting conversation, and I hope you join us. Hey, how are you doing? Very excited to to see uh, the the getting ready for the big launch, the Do, Do The Woo 4.0, uh, hosted on WordPress.com. We're very excited to see see things uh, unfold and, and and get to see the new site uh, launch. Yeah, tomorrow is the day. The tomorrow will be when things start rolling out, and I think that we we did the soft launch. You know, it actually happened when I was in Cloudfest in Germany, and that was when the site was the new site was moved over to WordPress dot com. And since then, we've been you know cleaning up things, working to get it nice, shiny, and bright to really help people dig into it and tell them really what's going on inside of it. Because, you know, podcast site kind of thing. Hell yeah, I go. And a lot of people don't even go to the site, you know, sitting on an app. So there's, um, there's lots of things that make it more community-oriented. And, um, yeah, good stuff. For those of us... Uh, uh, at Woo, we we see do the Woo obviously as more than just a podcast, but it is a uh, it makes so much sense to us to see it unfold as a really as a space with so much knowledge, so much information, so many folks we've talked to, and it's it's always easy to to maybe f- you don't realize how much content's there, like how many interviews you've done, how many incredible people over so much time, and so looking at it episodically, it's amazing that you can take advantage of 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 some of the cutting edge, some of the advances in WordPress and how WordPress.com uses a lot of the, these, you know, just not just, it's not just blocks. There's so many other features. Um, so when, when we often will say, oh, well, there was an episode of do the woo where Bob interviewed this or the team interviewed some people will send people there and then they, they, they pop in and now they can, they can see the full transcript. They've always been able to see that, but to, to think about the more, the more that you'll, the more things that we'll be able to see on that page at any given time, and I mean, if it if it's powerful for us, I can only imagine for for folks who are kind of coming to the community for the first time, or folks who are in the WordPress world, who are moving into more Woo focused work with clients or what have you. What an incredibly rich resource! So to be able to build in all the latest uh, advances in WordPress within that is really kind of uh, it's kind of amazing. Like I think you really are running one of the greatest collections of information resources conversation about woo on the internet ah thank you thank you you know it's been such a long process because i actually had this vision of breaking it up into shows like early uh last year and and then i uh ruminated on it and what would that look at look like and talking to people and everything builds on woo i mean i've was able to actually go into some spaces that maybe aren't Wu specific, but they are very important to Wu. And uh, uh, we'll be launching a new show. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make people wait for that one, but a new show that is gonna be very interesting. And then we brought in, went on open source, a little bit more generalized, just to give a better idea and to help people Woo developers, WordPress developers, understand the other projects that are out there and how we all, a lot of those interrelate. So yeah, it's been, um, it's been something that I never, I kind of dreamed of it and thought, you know, what would happen if I did this? But I don't know if I really expected it to go in this direction, which is really probably the most fun I've had with podcasting. This, it, it takes podcasting to such a, um, it, it's a much bigger space in some ways. Like it, it like it, I feel, I feel like 
moving just beyond the idea of listening to something, but kind of going to a place where all that, all that material and all that community can come together. Um, if you don't have one without the other, you're really missing something. It's almost like this is the bedrock, right? Like the site is, is the, is the place where it's going to be forever, but also it's the place where folks can really see just that it's not, it's more than just a point in time with a lot latest episode. It goes way back. It's a lot of material there. Yeah, it is. And it's a lot of, a lot of different people. I mean, I, I think I was looking kind of broadly at the guests I've had. And I would say, I know at least half, if not more, probably it's well over half of the people that have come on had never been on a podcast before. Right. It's the first time. And that was kind of what my, one of my visions was to make it a nice, comfortable place that people could jump on and, and yeah, do it for the first time. And most times it's, it's amazing to see how, I mean, somebody said that I'd brought, somebody appeared on one of the, uh, kind of group chats on it. And they said afterwards he had worked at the same place that this guy had worked at. And he said, you know, after he did that one podcast, he started wanting to do more things. And now he's speaking at meetups. He's spoken at a few word camps and it kind of gave him that little, you know, wasn't the, he probably had it in him, but that one experience at least pushed him just a little bit more to be brave enough to go out there and start talking to people. I think you've done that too, for, from what I can say, I haven't, you know, I haven't been in, uh, the Woo and WordPress community for, for a very long time, but I've certainly known about it for, for as long as it's existed. But I think just within our, our sort of, uh, organ, even over at Woo is within automatic. I think your show, this, this show, the platform do the Woo has been the first thing folks have done that sort of in a one to many situation. Uh, particularly for folks who yeah, may be accustomed to having participated in, in online forum, fora, you know, different spaces, but this is the first time they really get to have a, a conversation. And uh, yeah, I think what a great place to, to have that experience. And then they think, okay, it's just the recording. It's like, no, but then it's going to actually launch, right? Then it's going to go out there. And then they can, person on their own, they can kind of, hey, they can promote amongst them. Oh, this is on, on Sunday the Woo. And I had this great conversation. Then they become uh, stewards and agents of like saying, Hey, you should do this too. And then maybe they recommend and they make a connection. And it's like the, one of the wonderful things about do the woo is that it, it's, it's, it's kind of egoless, right? Like it's, it, you're not doing this in a way to, uh, to, to build brands or identities. You're really trying to get everybody who's interested at every level from the merchant to the developer agency. It doesn't really matter. Like, I think you're, I get the sense that you've always been just very curious about hearing those people's voices and stories. I, I, I'm, I'm in a position now where it's like, I've always wanted to amplify so many voices and it's always been, I mean, you do what you can do, but this has given me the platform to uh, do that. And then also a lot of these people connect with each other, which is really great too. They, they build, you know, new friendships, new partnerships, whatever, from just being on a show together. You never know what direction any show will take anyone. That's why I like the variety. Yeah. That variety is, and it comes through, I think, for anybody who, who listens or follows. Um, I also want to say that for, for what, for, for do, do the Woo 4.0 for this launch, I'm so excited also because of your commitment. You just mentioned this too, but your commitment to, uh, to really expanding the different voices of the community, sort of go beyond maybe the, uh, the conventional Western perspective on the WordPress community and the Woo community and, and really invite voices and in individuals from around the world. I think that's incredible. And I'm, I'm, when I first saw some of the episodes, uh, some of the shows with localized content and languages that are not English. And I feel like that alone, that's brave. Like I huge, I really acknowledge that you're doing that because some other podcast folks would be like, Ooh, they'd like to do that, but Ooh, you know, how do we, no, you're prioritizing it. And that is so powerful, but also having the home space, the home to place to do that so that it can make sense to folks where they can find those, they can find those transcripts. They can find, like, they can start to see more and more of that type of content exist. Uh, I think it wouldn't work without that. Like you really do need 
a space that can um, that can make it more obvious that this is really what what you're attempting to do with do the what you are not attempting you are doing it. Uh, I love that, and I think it's a it's a I can only imagine how much further you could explore that, inviting more people, more letting people kind of produce some shows on their own in their own uh, their own languages. It doesn't have to be English. And the cool thing is, I can watch and and I can listen. I can check the transcripts and I can check the subtitles. Like I. I find that amazing. That's really opening my eyes. And I can only imagine how many other folks in the community will be like, wow, I had no idea that we was being used in this way or that, uh, that it's so popular in South Asia or it's so popular in this part of the Middle East. Like there's, there's incredible, I bet there's lots of green fields. The stuff that I suspect gets you really excited. Yeah. And, and that was one of the things, you know, the board camp I was at previously to this one is was word camp Asian. I was hearing from a lot of different people in different parts of Asia and China and India. And I actually realized there were some bands scattered all around there. Oh yeah. You know, we know you, we listen to you all the time, or we listen to this particular show. They might have a favorite show or two. And yeah, it's, it's been an eye opener. I mean, that's was one of my big goals was to be more global and try to get it in more, I shouldn't say in front of people's faces because they're using their ears, but you know, they basically it's, it's doing what I'm wanted it to do. And I, I know there's a, a lot of room to grow too. And I think that the other thing is, you know, and, and before we end this, the launch, I mean, how, and people will hear this story unfold more and, over the next few days on how this whole transpired everything, the launch and the, the new direction and partners I have now, I mean, Wu's been a partner from day one, basically. And then, uh, Jetpack and WordPress.com. Then I have all my different sponsors, uh, that I'm, um, that have come in, stepped in to support it. And, you know, it's, it's very humbling when when they trust you that much and they, you know, will put some resources out there and just, I, I don't, you know, some people say, oh, you're, you're, uh, what do you want to say? Um, not tethered to your sponsors, but you have to, you know, somebody, somebody the other day said you, you, they said to me, you seem to always look at the positive side of WordPress. You never, you know, you never get out there and really are too critical of it. And they said, well, we can understand you want to be kind of, and I said, no, that's not, you don't understand. That's my nature. I've always been a, that's just how I am. I, I was that way before WordPress. I'm a very optimistic, positive guy, and that's what I like to pull out. And so it's, um, yeah, it, and I think people understand that most people do. And that just, that's, that's what the whole podcast is based on is just good conversation. Sure. People can be critical about some things, but we were there to talk about, you know, all the good stuff people are doing because there's a lot of people that I'm amazed at that I've never met before. And they come in and they'll start talking about all they're doing. I'm just like, wow, you know, it's amazing. And some of it's technical, some of it's business, some of it's community. Like that's the other thing I love about, about, uh, you know, you don't shy away from, uh, High code, low code, or, but, but everybody wants to, when they, I think when they come on, do the woo, uh, when they appear as a guest, uh, in whatever form, I think they really strive to simplify, to make it clear what they're doing. I love that. It's almost like you set that tone, but also like you just said, it's not a, pl it's, you get yeah, room for criticism, there's room for, for, you know, some spicy discussion, but, but the, you set that tone for this to be a, not just a civil place, but just a place of, of, of curiosity and learning and, uh, a place of, um, civil conversation there's the, the market's cornered on the other side of that that's easy to find but i love that that that's always a hallmark of do the Woo. um we're so excited for for the launch uh, i i can't speak on behalf of Woo, but i'll try but just to say we're we're thrilled to see it happen on behalf of like being part of automatic I mean, it gives me immense pride to know that uh that that you've got this great thriving new home space it's not a new project you're you've always you know you've been here for so for such a long time and when we want you to be there forever and ever to take advantage of all the amazing new 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 features that we can build into or see built built into do the woo 
uh, it's, 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 a it's an exciting, exciting moment. We're, we're thrilled to see what's going to come next and how you're going to expand and take it even further. Thank you. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of things in the pipeline and, uh, ideas and stuff. And yeah, I'm just, you know, every time I go in and do another post on my new site now or do a, you know, podcast or whatever, it's like the workflow, everything that's been built into the site. It's just like, oh, it just, and, and I, I call it up. And somebody said one day, somebody said, wow, your site sure seems to load pretty fast. And I'm like, yeah, because I have smart people behind this knowing what they're doing. And that has been just, I, I was looking at, I was, I, uh, to kind of end it, what's really interesting is I always find little nuances of things on the site and they're, you know, some little feature that nobody really, you ever pay attention to. And it's probably a very, I want to say simple thing for a developer to do. It's probably something yeah. they do, but I'll see something that's really a small piece of it. And I'll just stare at it for a few minutes and think, wow, <laughs> or now, if I had tried to do this myself, who knows if it would have even happened or if I sure. would have been able to understand or figure it out. And I just, things are working and that's what's so cool is it's just every little piece has been put into place that I had imagined. It's a, and it's, I love that you talk, you go, you take us behind the scenes that we get to see how it's made, you know, that we get to, that you won't leave a rock unturned, which I think is really valuable because everybody, not everybody, but many, many, many of the folks who listen, we're all kind of craftspeople in WordPress and in, and in, in WooCommerce. And so I love that you're as curious about how it's built as, as anybody else might be. And it's like, this is one, pro this is one project where we want that. Like, we don't want to just say, oh, it just works. Let's not talk. No, we all want to dig into the guts. And how did you get there? How did that extension make, how does that make sense? So I love that you're, that you're, 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 you're pushing the envelope and, and, and you're going to, you know, take advantage of whatever is new and amazing out there. Because also if you're a merchant or if you're a, a WordPress builder, whatever, that's, this is there for you too. It's not, you don't have a exclusive, uh, ownership of that. It's going to be available for everybody to take advantage of. So it's great to have kind of flagship, like kind of flagship best in class experiences, because I think that really shows people that they can get there. They can get there too. This isn't, uh, it's not a, it's not a, it's not an ivory tower. Yeah, for sure. Well, I'm just going to also let everybody know that after WordCamp and when we get, I get back and settled, we will be having a show with some of the people that were behind building the site. And that's going to be a real interesting conversation in the last version of my site. I did that with the developer and some people from there. And I get to do that again in the near future and just, uh, yeah able to have them share some of the stuff and see if they, you know, survived months of working with me, you know, so <laughs> I saw it all. I saw nothing but love and, 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 and well, I saw civility, but you are, I, I have a very strong feeling you've been a, an excellent collaborator, um, as well as an owner. It's your, it's your, it's your space, but also I think you bring high standards and I think the WordPress team and WordPress.com team and the automatic team, they also bring high standards. So uh, we're in a, we're in a good place to do good work if everybody wants to make something look really good and stable and uh, and and uphold the identity and the and the legacy of the show. So that's a great combo, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. So, so well, everybody. Um, yeah, tomorrow will be contributor day. I will be there. I'll probably be at the community table somewhere, and then um, of course I'll be at various events, and then we have our table in the small business area and and um we'll be having some fun people coming and essentially co-hosting the table with me i mean we're not doing podcasts but we're they're my co-host of the actual table so you won't just walk by there and always see bob in fact you might see two of our hosts take over the table and i'll be off actually walking around so so kind of keep an eye out for the you know next few days i'm looking forward to meeting everybody and i wish jay could have been there too. I, you, we, you will be missed. I'll be there in spirit and I can sort of see it in the space. I can't imagine it being any other way, but people coming in, if you've got to pick one place to hang out at, at, at WordCamp, it's probably going to be around the do the woo table. That's where you're going to be. Bob's there. Everybody's there. The love is, the love is real. The warmth. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be warm. Actually, it's probably going to be kind of warm. Probably there'll also be some, some, uh, 
some delightful refreshments and lots of, uh, lots of good vibes. Oh yeah. yeah. Have a great time. Have a great time in Turin and great, good luck with the launch. It's going to be great. We're excited. Thank you. And thank you for, you know, you know, we'll put this chat together before we, we head into the, the, um, depths of WordCamp Europe. So everyone, we'll see you soon. And thank you, Jay.